for today's video, I am going to teach you how to solve problems involving sets using three circle Venn diagram. So, there is a limited um, given when using a two circle Venn diagram because um, dalawang selection lang yung kailangan. Paano kapag naging tatlo yung selections? So, we will um, kind of level up like into using three circle Venn diagram. So, like this uh, word problem, no, there are three selections. Eh. You can see there is fish fillet, there is meat, there is vegetables. So, this problem, we cannot solve this using two circle Venn diagram. Kasi dalawa lang kailangan yung selections doon. Paano pag naging tatlo? But therefore, kaya nagkaroon ng three circle Venn diagram. Okay? So, now, I just want you to see this illustration. From your, from your module. I made this for those visual learners, no? Para they can have idea on what will happen in this lesson. So, I hope you appreciate this part, no? Kasi pinaghirapan ni mam yan. So, yeah. Now, let's move on in solving this problem. Okay? So, I'm just going to write the given in my whiteboard. Okay? I'm so sorry for the for the three circle Venn diagram. I know hindi siya anak maganda, no. Pero maintindihan niyo sana si Ma'am, nahirapan si Ma'am kasi I only use tablet and a pen to write here. So, ang given natin is we have 132 students who likes uh, fish fillet, no? And then, we have 163 students who likes meat. And then, 73 students who likes vegetables. And then now, we have uh, students na they like two menus from the selections. Okay? So, we have 36 students who likes both fish fillet and meat. And then 38 students who likes fish fillet and vegetables. Next, we have 51 students who like meat and uh, vegetables. And then we have 22 students that they like all this three. Yeah. So, how do we able to um, plot or arrange this number using the three circle then diagram. And then, nakalimutan ko, there are 300 students overall na si Nervay. Okay? So, that is the total number of students. And we need to put that here. So, we have 300 students. So, what will happen is, ganito lang ba mayari dyan? We need, we need to plot them one by one. So, let's, let's say, in this corner, yung fish fillet. And then, dito sa corner na to yung vegetables. And then, here your meat. Ang gagawin lang ba natin dyan ay, ayan, lahat may gusto. 22. Dito, 51. Dito, meat and vegetables. Mm, fish and vegetables. 38. Dito. So, dito, 36. Na fish fillet 132, 163 sa meat, 73 dito. Ganyan lang ba yung mangyayari? Of course not. Masyadong, masyadong shady, no? masyadong mabilis. And if you will add everything, every number in this, you will not come up with 30. So sobra sa 30 yung makukuha mo. Therefore, may mali sa ginawa mo. No? Kasi dito pa lang, oh, close to 30. This is already 290 plus. Eh, I-add nyo pa to. So, sobra. Kasi, 
we will uh, we will solve the values inside the circles pa hindi lang natin kabuti pa plot yung given so i'm going to yeah erase everything every values na ilagay ko dyan. so ma'am what will happen next ang una po natin lagi nalalagyan ng um ng value or ng number is etong gitna okay saan po natin kukunin ma'am yung value niyang gitna Kapag kasi anak, itong corner na to, ibig sabihin, sila yung may gusto, sila yung mga students na may gusto ng fish, ng meat, and ng vegetables. Kaya siya dyan nasa gitna. Napansin niyo yung circle dun sa meat, sakop siya lahat sa fish fillet, na saka dun sa vegetables. Meaning, this corner is for the students who like all. Sa so, ilan ba yung students na may gusto sa lahat? May gusto ng lahat ng menu. 22. So, the number that we will be putting here will come from the given. Okay? 22. How about this? Let's move on to this to this part. Okay? So, in this in this corner naman, napansin nyo, nasa pagitan siya ni this in between fish, fish fillet and vegetables. Meaning, in this corner, these are the students who likes both fish fillet and vegetables. So, according dito, mm -hmm, ilan yun? 38. So, cross out na natin yung mga finish na. Ito finish na. Fish fillet and vegetables, 38. 38 ba yung ilalagay natin? Of course not. Isosolve pa natin yan. Ma'am, paano po natin isosolve? So, ganito ano po mangyayari? 38. minus 22. Okay? Si 22, ibabawas natin sa 38. Why? Kasi, sa 38 na person na may gusto ng fish fillet and vegetable, kasama dun si 22. Kasi, yung 22 students na yun, gusto niya lahat eh. So, we need to find the exact number of students who likes fish fillet and vegetables. Only. Okay? Just like the on sa two circle Venn diagram, nagsusubtract tayo. Dito, magsusubtract din tayo. Pero mas madai ano to si dito. Okay? Naisusubtract. So, therefore, in this part, 38 minus 22, how many is that? That is 16. Okay? Change ko lang yung color dito para makita nyo. So, 38 minus 22, that is 16. Therefore, 16 yung number na ilalagay nito. Meaning, 16 lang pala yung students na may gusto ng fish fillet and the vegetables lang. Okay? And then, the next one, dito naman, in this part, As you can see, sakop siya ng fish fillet and then meat. Meaning, in this uh, part of the Venn diagram, these are the students who likes fish fillet and meat only. Okay? Hindi kasama yung vegetable. So, according sa given, ilan yon Yung studyante na may gusto ng fish fillet and meat, they are 36. Pero nga, we need to subtract 22 pa din. Kasi, sa 36 na to, kasama si 22. Si 22 kasi, gusto niya lahat. Okay? So, we need to subtract 22 from 36. So, 36 minus 22. What is the answer? The answer is 14. Diba? 36. Tama ba? Yes, the answer is 14. Oh, therefore, there are 14 students who like fish fillet and meat only. Okay? I'm going to write 14 here. And now, let's move on in this part. O, dito naman sa part na to, sakop in between siya ng meat at vegetables. Meaning, this um, part is where the students who likes uh, meat and vegetables lie. Okay? Dito, dito sila. 
So, ilan ba yun according sa given? So, sabi ng given, there are 51 students who like meat and vegetables. Pero, of course, we need to also subtract 22 from that kasi kasama nga si 22 dun sa 51. Kasi si 22, gusto niya lahat ng menu. Okay? So, we need to subtract 22 from 51. So, 51 minus 22, that is 29. So, therefore, meron lang palang 29 students na may gusto ng meat and vegetables only. Okay? Now, let's move on in this part. Okay? In this part of the Venn diagram, dito yung mga isa lang yung gusto. So, in this part, fish fillet. This is where the students who like fish fillet lies. Okay? So, dito, dito mo sila ilalagay. So, according sa given, there are 132 students who likes fish fillet. Pero, sa 132 na yun, napansin nyo yung circle ng fish fillet, uh, sorry, sakop niya hanggang dito. Okay? Ayan. Sakop niya. Ibig sabihin, ayan, ito pa yung mga estudyante na gusto ng fish fillet. Kasali sila doon sa 132. Okay? Nakinaw. Kasali sila doon. Gusto nila yung fish fillet eh. Ngayon, nangahanapin natin yung mga students na gusto lang ng fish fillet lang. Okay? Fish fillet only. So, what we need to do is we need to add these characters. Okay? So, we need to add them and subtract them from 132. Okay? So, 132 minus yung sum ni 14, ni 22, at saka ni 16. So, kunin muna natin yung sum nila. Okay? What is the sum? Kaya, uh, let's add them. Going to use my calculator. So, 14 plus 16 plus 22. The answer is 52. Okay? So, 52 students yung ibabawas natin dito sa 132. So, 132 minus 52, that is 80. So, napansin nyo, the given is very tricky. No? Hindi niya pinapakita yung um, totoong value. Okay? Meron lang palang 80 students na gusto yung fish fillet lang. 80 students lang sila. Yung iba, double double gusto. Yung iba, triple triple Nakasama na sila dun sa 132 na ka. Okay? And then, sa next part, dito, sa meat, dito yung mga students na gusto ng meat. Okay? Pero napansin nyo din, sa circle, kasama din tong Kasama, din, kasama naman tong part na to. Okay? So, sabi dito sa given, according sa given, there are 163 students who likes meat. So, 163 students na yun, na-count ito, si 14, si 22, tsaka si 29. Of course, kasi gusto din nila ng meat. No? Kaya na-count sila doon. Pero, ang hahanapin natin, yung mga students na gusto lang, yung meat only. No, wala nang iba. Meat lang. Okay? So, of course, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, we need to add this. Yung um, numbers na sakop ng circle ni meat. Okay? Si 14, si 22, tsaka si 29. Kanina, yung in natin is si 14, si 22, tsaka si 16. Kasi yun yung mga numbers na sakop ng circle ni fish fillet. Okay? Ngayon, si 14, si 22, and si 29. And then, kapag nakuha natin yung sum, we need to subtract the sum from 163. So, i-add natin sila, okay? 14 plus 22 plus 29. The answer is 62. 
see now we need to subtract 62 tama ba i'm going to check again no 14 plus 22 plus 29 oh sorry the answer is 65 <laughs> kaya pala ako parang may mali 65 Okay. So, 163 minus 65, the answer is 98. So, it's quite shocking, no? Kasi, akala natin, there are 163 students who like Smith only kasi they are grouped, eh. No? Pero, kasama na pala sa 163, etong iba na may gusto din ng Meet. Therefore, ilalagay lang natin dito is 98. Oh no, the last part. This, yung vegetables. Now, sa vegetables, according sa given, there are 73 students who likes vegetables. Pero, napansin nyo sa Venn diagram, sa circle ng vegetables, kasama na, ito, kasama na sila, itong tatlong values or numbers na to. So, 16 plus 22 plus 29, we need to add them and then subtract them from 73 for us to get kung ilan lang talaga yung may gusto ng vegetable slab. Okay? So, 16 plus 22 plus 29. That is 67. Okay? So, akalain nyo yun. <laughs> this very, uh, very confusing yung given. Okay, akala natin nakagroup na siya. Pero hindi pa talaga. Hindi pa niya pinakita yung totoong values. Doon sa loob ng Venn diagram. Okay? So, 73 minus uh, 67, the answer is 6. Okay? So, may pa lang pa lang 6 students na loyal sa vegetables. Vegetables lang yung gusto. So, yan. Right after makuha natin lahat ng values, Let's check kasi there are a portion in the Venn diagram na wala pang value which is in this part in this part sila yung mga walang gusto sa tatlo okay neither of the three wala silang gusto they don't like fish fillet and or meat or vegetables they, they don't like any of the three okay so how how do we able to get that po, ma'am? Andain naman pong sinosolve. O, anak, madali talaga kayo isosolve dito. So, for you to be able to get that, hmm, move ko lang to para we have space, no? For you to be able to get how many students do not like any of the three, we need to add all these numbers inside the circles. Okay? And then we need to subtract the sum to 300. So let's add all of them. So 80 plus 14 plus 98 plus 16 plus 22 plus 29 and then plus 6. All of them. You need to add all of them. So the answer there is 200. 65. And we need to subtract 265 from 300. Para malaman natin kung ilan yung walang gusto doon sa tatlo. So, 260, I mean 300 minus 265, the answer is 35. So, there are 35 students na nawawala. Sila yung... mga students na ayaw kahit alinman sa, sa mga yan. Siguro ang gusto nila chicken, ganon. Wala dito sa selections. Kaya, we have here 35 students. Now, na-complete na natin yung values sa Venn diagram. Alam na natin solve it, yung mga values inside it. We can now answer the questions in your module. No? So, yan. I have I have a lot of questions in your module right after nating masolve yung values. Ayan. The number of students who likes all the meal. 
So of course, this is this this part yan. No, yun sagot. Ay, sorry. Masabi sa question number one, how many students or the number of students who likes all the meal? Ito yan. Kapag lahat gusto niya. No, 22 students. And then the next one, the number of students who likes fish fillet and meat. Fish fillet and meat only. So ito yan. Si fish fillet and meat. There are 14 students. And then the next one, the number of students who likes fish fillet and vegetable. So fish fillet and vegetable, dito yan. 16. There are 16 students. Then the next uh, question, the number of students who likes meat and vegetables. Meat and vegetables only, okay? So dito naman yan. And then, how many students likes fish fillet only? So ito yan, 80. And then, how many students who likes meat only? 98. How many students who like likes vegetables only? There are six, There are just six students. And then, how many students who don't like any of the three meals? So there are 35 students. So what is the total number of students? This is the answer. So that is how you illustrate and then you uh, complete the values or the numbers inside the three circle Venn diagram. And that's how you solve a set problem using three circle Venn diagram.